at the site of uh, this morning's cruise missile strikes, rocket strikes. Um, reports are varying. Um, as you can see, multiple strikes on uh, residential buildings, as well as uh, impacts on this high-rise office building. Uh, all to my rear, back here. It's a bit of a shopping center. Um, it's been basically destroyed. Um, the entire street is uh, covered in rubble, broken glass, bricks. Um, and this building here to my front is completely fucking destroyed. Hi, so we're here in Lviv in uh, just a regular park. It's a city park, but we found some sandbags stacked up. Turns out it's one of the bunkers that people can go into during the air raid sirens that we've been hearing so frequently. So you come through here, we get into these long hallways here, as you can see behind me, it's you know not a lot of room, but there are some benches down here. The ground is kind of moist and it goes back fairly deep. I mean, at first you wouldn't guess how much room is down here, but you could easily fit. Uh, probably upwards of a hundred people down here. This is, we've seen all sorts of preparations that people in Lviv have been making in case of a, you know, the Russian invasion reaches their city. And uh, it's very interesting to see some of these, some, some of the infrastructure that's been here for a very long time, likely since at least World War II, now being used in 2022. Night's falling here in Kyiv, eventful day uh, with the Russians uh, launching strikes on the city center here in Kyiv with uh, cruise missiles and in residential and government buildings. Uh, in the distance, you can still hear artillery strikes and, and co heavy combat uh, to the northwest in Yerpen and to the northeast in Brevari. Word on the street is uh, the Russians are going to use this time before any potential ceasefire to do the most damage that they can. Uh, in the distance uh, over here, you can't see it with the camera, but. Uh, you can see the flames of, of combat, smoke, and definitely hear the rumbling of, of intense combat. On Wednesday, March 16th, Ukrainian President Zelensky directly addressed Congress, urging the West for more support, utilizing an emotional video comparing imagery of today's war-torn country with that of a vibrant Ukraine only three weeks prior. Shortly after, President Biden announced $800 million in additional security assistance to Ukraine, bringing the total number up to $1 billion in federal aid just in the last week. In Mariupol, one of the city's hardest hit and surrounded by the Russian invaders, a theater providing shelter to hundreds of refugees was bombed. Exact casualty numbers are still being confirmed. The Ukrainian capital of Kyiv remains under a 36-hour curfew and still remains under Ukrainian control. That's what the Russians' war against the civilians looked like. Destroyed buildings, destroyed infrastructure. City bus just got hit by the rocket. Lives are getting lost. That's the war that Russia started. That's the city of Kiev. And many cities in Ukraine were destroyed. Lives were taken. That's the truth. This image is, is the truth of Russian war against Ukraine. Putin's war against Ukraine. That's what it looks like. 